I was taught never to have fear. I was raised, you know, by men. Don't cry. You know, you, you fall on your knee, get up, brush it off, keep moving. I'm Dr. Henry H. Washington III, retired United States Army major, military police, criminal investigator, retired now a marshal, Fulton County. As I entered the civilian sector coming out of the military, you have to get your outgoing physical. And once I got that outgoing physical, it was a phone call from VA uh, that I had prostate cancer. And from that point on, it was a total transition for me. Hi, I'm Courtney Bugler. I'm the president and CEO of Zero Prostate Cancer. When I decided that I wanted to take on this responsible the responsibility at Zero Prostate Cancer, um, my dad immediately, um, even though he is, um, you know, living with prostate cancer um, under active surveillance himself, um, he immediately was like, what do you need me to do? And I said, Dad, no, no, no. This time I'm doing it for you. Henry, tell me a little bit about when you were diagnosed with prostate cancer. What was that like? That was a moment of how did, did I get it? Coming from, you know, watching my father pass away of prostate cancer and watching my grandfather pass away of prostate cancer, it was more for me a process of trying to understand why me. One of the things that I've heard um, from, you know, other patients and survivors is you have so many emotions. I was angry, so angry about having to go through the process, having to go through the treatments, having to go through not being able to function like I used to as a man. So I was angry and I dealt with it with counseling, prayer, support groups, yeah. talking to others. That was my strength. Because when I heard other men talking about, you can get through this, it's going to require you to be strong. It took a minute and you, you start to wonder, okay, is this it? Am I back? Okay, Courtney, how did your experience, you know, when you were dealing with your father impact you being a caregiver in advocacy? The stigma around prostate cancer, part of what changed that stigma was people just started talking about it and people spoke up and they shared their stories. And um, for, for me, watching, um, watching my dad um, made me want to shine a light here. You were really proactive with your health. And obviously, as a Black man with a family history, you knew the importance of that. So what would you tell anybody else um, who is thinking about whether or not they need to talk to their doctor about um, being screened for prostate cancer. If you're having, you know, any symptoms, you, you gotta go and get checked. Know your body. Know your body. Yeah. yeah that, and, and it's just that simple. As a survivor, what do you what do you love doing now as you're almost 10 years out yeah. living your life? It's more of now I can smell the roses, you know? Mm -hmm. I can smell the roses and take my time and see how beautiful those roses really are.